Hey everybody, it's Sadie. Welcome back to our channel and today I'm going to be teaching you all how to make these adorable little pom-pom birds. So let's get started. So I'm not going to go super in-depth as to how to make them. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to make a pom-pom, you can go check out my rainbow pom-pom garland video. But um, I'm just going to show you what sizes you need to make them. So for the pom-pom that you want to be on the bottom of the bird, for the bird's bottom part, so this green one here, you would do three fingers, and then for the top part, you would do two. So I'm just gonna do kind of a time lapse of that. And again, if you wanna really know how to make a pom-pom, you can go check out my other video. <laughs> pom-poms I don't know if you could tell from that clip but I messed up pretty bad on this green one at first so I had to make a whole new one but it's okay mistakes happen there's some little things that are bugging me but anyway now we're going to glue these two pom-poms together so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna kind of flatten the one you want on the bottom just put a little bit of hot glue on there this is glue is not totally warm yet but I'm impatient and then just stick the top on and then you have your birdie. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you how to make the, the little eyes. So here's a sheet of eyes I've already prepared. So I'm just gonna get a little sticky now. I'm gonna do orange. I don't know if you'll be able to see it super well, but it's okay. And then you're going to take your hot glue and just <laughs> clean it off first. You don't want any glue on there. And then just come from above and just make a little bobble. Uh, kind of stringy, but that one is a failure. But what you want to do is you just go And you want to make perfect circles. And so the key to doing that is to not touch the hot glue on the paper. And just come from above and then kind of swirl it around. That one's pretty good. Um, it may take you a lot of times to get a perfect circle and you might only be able to make like one pair of eyes but one is enough for one bird so that's good enough right so yeah and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna let these dry and then just color over them with a sharpie they are kind of tedious to make but worth it for cute little birds Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out our belt pieces. So my bird is kind of mint and pink, so I've got some mint and pink belt, but you can use any colors of belt you want. If you wanna do different colors, you totally can. That's, it's up to you, it's your bird. So the main pieces that you need to cut out is a little thing for the top if you're doing a parakeet like this. I'll show you some other variations at the end if you wanna do something a little different. So you need, for a parakeet, you need a little thing on the top. You can do other little pieces to go in front of it too, or you can just do one. You need a beak. Cheeks are optional, but they make it really cute. You need wings. You need feet. And then for the tail, I like to do two little pieces, one stacked on top of the other. So I'm just going to trace those on here and cut them out. I don't really have a template or anything, but you can kind of just eyeball it. You can draw them out with a Sharpie first if you want. That might make it a little bit easier, but if you don't want to, you can just freehand it. Okay, 
now, sorry about all the little scraps there, right? Now we're going to glue everything on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue the tail together. Just add a little dollop of glue here. And be careful though you don't press down too hard because um, hot glue can leak through felt and I've been burned many, many times by pressing down too hard and then the heat can kinda come at you anyway. Okay, so we've got that. And then that's the only piece that needs to be glued together. So now we're gonna take our birdie and just decide which side you wanna be the front. I think I want this to be the front. So you're gonna kinda shove the beak in there just so that you know it has room and then just put a little bit of glue along the back and then just put that in that same spot so that it looks all right. <laughs> Sorry, there's this little spot sticking out that is bugging me. If that ever happens to you, you can just cut it off. It's totally okay. And then we're gonna do the wings. We're gonna turn the birdie on its side. Sorry about this. It's, <laughs> I'm just a perfectionist. And then we're gonna glue on the little wings. I like to glue on just the top so that they kind of stick out a little bit and it looks like they're about to take flight. It just looks so cute. Oh, I forgot to cut out feet. Okay, I'll add the feet a little bit later, but just know that you should probably add feet. All right, there's the second wing. Okay. <laughs> Everything is stuck together with hot glue. Okay, the tail, I might need to trim a little bit just so that it's not super long and sticking out everywhere. And we're just gonna add some glue and put that on there so it's a little tail sticking out the back and then we're gonna add the little thing on the top I just did one because I was feeling a little bit lazy today but it looks really cute if you do like a little piece in the front so that there's like two colors on it for the feathers on the top okay and there we have it and now we're gonna do the eyes i'm just gonna lay you on your back here don't squish your tail it's a little bit hard to see from above but so here's my little sheet of eyes i just stuck them on the sheet with double stick tape so i can make them all ahead so i think i'm gonna use this part right here because that part looks pretty perfect so just peel those off and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna make little sockets where you want the eyes and i know like birds have eyes on the side of their head, but it looks cuter if you do them in the front. Just speaking from personal experience, I've made some with them on the side of the head and they do not look as cute. So yeah, I'd recommend this. That was kind of a big dog of hot glue. You probably, probably shouldn't do it that big so you, that you don't have like a big chunk of hot glue in there. Oh gosh, oh no, oh no, don't get burned, don't get burned. I'm just gonna use some scissors with like wires or tweezers or whatever. Okay, that could have been bad. But, okay, we're going back in. Oh gosh, okay, <laughs> this is not going too well. Ah, okay, it's still hot. Um, just gonna try to get some of that hot glue out of there and then add another little dollop, but a lot littler. Okay, there we go. Okay, where's my eye, where's my eye? Okay, okay. Ah, okay, ow! <laughs> It's fine, it's okay, everything's okay, everything's okay. Okay, the eye got a little melted, but, oh well. Not every bird is amazing. I think I've learned that from experience, and I have made a lot of these birds. My room is like filled with little pom-pom birds. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little Sharpie and just go in there and fix this one because I think a little bit of the color got melted off. Okay, it's kind of a derpy looking bird, but it's cute if we like shuffle it together. Okay, and <laughs> there we have our bird. You can add any little personal touches that you want. You can add cheeks, you can add little eyelashes, you can add a little bow tie, anything you want. I'm not gonna add feet to this one because again, I'm feeling a little bit lazy, but here is your adorable little pom-pom parakeet. So that is 
how you make these adorable little pom-pom birds. There is really a lot you can do to customize these. Again, you can pick different colors, you can like cut out the shapes in different ways, you could do pokey instead of round, you could add, again, I already talked about this, but you can add like little bugs or anything you want, and also you can do these other variations. So this is a hummingbird, and this is just a toothpick painted black, in case you were wondering. And then I just call these things lovebirds, I don't know what else to call them. But yeah, so this craft is really fun. You can also just use these as decorations, you can give them as gifts, you could even string them on a garland and hang that up somewhere. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.